Hello guys, um, thank you again for coming back to my channel, I've already been on here once today um, But um, I've had to come back on because I've had this phenomenal deck arrive today um, Which I pre-ordered about a month ago um, And it wasn't due until next week, but it arrived this afternoon um, I didn't know a lot about the deck um, And I kind of blindly bought it And I am so glad I did Um it's possibly one of the best purchases I have had this year. Um, first of all, I'm sorry for the voice um, because um, I've got a chest infection. So just bear with me. Um, I'll plow through it. Um, so what do you get? This is a mass market deck. Um, and I think it was £15. £15, you heard that right. It is absolutely incredible. It comes in this box with a guidebook. Uh, the deck is housed there in its own box. This box, this is like a, a mock flock velvet kind of like insert. And so this is one of those boxes that you could just pop on your shelf and see the, you know, what you're looking at. Um, right, let me just read on the back of the box what it says. An inclusive tarot for the queer community and those who love them. Tarot is more more about more than divination. It's a powerful tool for self-discovery and self-love. In queer tarot, artists and author Ash and Chess have created an inclusive, joyful interpretation of the cards to help you on your own journey. This deck was made with all queers in mind, all identities, body types, races, ethnicities, abilities and sexualities and features dozens of real queer folks to help inspire you with beautiful risographed art that highlights LGBT plus symbols, Q plus symbols and stories, queer interpretations of the classic cards and questions to consider during your readings, this deck will become an empowering and affirming part of your magical practice. This deluxe set includes 78 full colour cards illustrated by Ash and Chess, sealed in and in a box, 176 page full colour flexi bound guidebook, and a magnetic closure keepsake box. Okay, so let's just put the box aside and have a quick flick through the, um, the guidebook. Even the guidebook is just like full of neon colours. It is just so, so gorgeous. Um, Ash and Chess's artwork reminds me of 60s, 70s kind of like um, hippie, trippy kind of psychedelic and, and it's just fab um, and you just wait until you see the cards. Um, it's published by Hatchet Book Group which is a sub company of RP Studio which is running press and this is the first edition. Um, and obviously there's an introduction here as well um, and it says which is a really nice introduction welcome to the queer tarot guidebook a tool we hope guides you on your path to self-discovery and self-love tarot is a wonderful way to explore how you perceive the world around you and the situations you face in your day-to-day -day life and we thought it only necessary that the queer community have a deck that focuses on the trials and tribulations we face living our truth every day that is so true um it really is we you know our heterosexual counterparts um don't you know have to fight the injustices that we do every day i'm not saying that they don't inf you know fight injustices at all but you know ever since you know we come out and you know we kind of have to face and fight our way throughout our life so, in a world where trans people are considered consistently stripped of their rights and endangered, queer couples are discriminated against in family planning and fatal hate crimes continue to happen without justice, queer people need a safe space and something to turn to when things get really ugly. While this deck can't fix the injustices forced upon the queer community by the outside world, we hope it can be a guiding light for inner growth and strength for queers everywhere. So, and then there is a uh, little bio about, about, like, obviously, you know, the, the background of the deck. I'm not going to read all this out because it will take me absolutely ages. Um, Chess and Ash have both wrote something there. Um, Queerness and Tarot as well. Um, right. D -d -d Tarot is a tool that has grown and changed through many generations, much like the ever-changing collective understanding of the queer experience. 
Incorporating queer experiences into tarot, making it more inclusive for a greater number of people, is one of the many ways we can continue to normalise the LGBTQ plus community. As a, as a practice, tarot helps you find yourself, which is something everyone in the queer community can use a hand with in this very heteronormative world. The illustrations and interpretations revolving around gender and sexuality are key aspects of this deck. Just because one gender identity is represented on a certain card doesn't mean your reading or understanding of that card should exclude all the other gender identities or sexualities that are out there. This is especially important to remember with the traditionally named Queen and King Court cards, as well as the outwardly gendered major arcana such as the Emperor or High Priestess. Gender and sexuality are fluid and socially constructed. Right, okay. Um, let me just say, first of all, this is probably um, one of the only decks that I have, have ever seen um, that has been designed by queer people for queer people. Um, and that really does mean a lot to me personally. And other people who belong under the LGBTQ plus umbrella as well. Um, because, yeah, we've got decks, obviously. We've got decks by gay men for gay men. We've got um, queer femme decks as well. Um, but I don't think I've ever seen a deck where all 78 cards represent the queer kind of spectrum. And especially one that's been designed by queer people so guys ash and chess if you do watch this video thank you so much you have made my day um because we really needed something like this in the community instead of as an afterthought as the lover's card or something else in a heteronormative deck um even though i understand that people try and people are just being kind it hasn't got that same kind of vibe as it has if it's designed by a queer person. So I just wanted to clear that up. And obviously that is my opinion and I'm not speaking for everyone else. But um, a deck that's designed by queer people for queer people, you know, it's just, yeah, it's just brilliant. So thanks, guys. So the artwork, it was inspired by and adapted from the 1909 Smith Rider White deck. And so um, each card features a real life queer person. The model's name and pronouns can be found alongside each card's description. We felt that the only way we could really capture the queer community's beauty and essence was to illustrate actual people who are living their truths in their own personal ways every day. And the cards are extra special because of all the original artwork was printed on a risograph. Risographs machines are these wild duplicators from Japan that look like clunky copying machines you would find in an office. They were originally intended for mass pr mass printed in single colours, like for flyers or letters. Um, so this is why, you know, the cards are so, so fluorescent. Each card was designed and set up with a uh, CMYK separation and each colour layer printed separately. So... For those Rizo freaks out there, the colours were printed with are made from combinations sunflower yellow, light lime, fluorescent pink, fluorescent orange, aqua cornflower blue and black on a RZ, whatever that is. Now that's a bit too geeky for me, but obviously if you're into that, um, you will see the beauty of what they've done. But I absolutely adore it. And then we've got how to handle, shuffling the cards, obviously, a spread. And then I'll briefly flick through um, and... There is questions, obviously, things to consider under each card. And most of the cards have got like a queer spin on it anyway. So that is brilliant. And for an exclusive um, kind of book to work with, I would highly recommend Queer in the Tarot by Cassandra Snow. Um, that is one of my favourite books um, because every single card is seen from a queer perspective. So, right, okay, we've got the book out of the way and more babbling. Um, so let's have a look at the beautiful cards. The cardstock, let's get onto the cardstock. It's like that beautiful, silky smooth matte colour. Um, oh, whoops. It's really, really flexible. It shuffles lovely as well. Um, it's really durable and hard wearing. So that is a 10 out of 10 for me. 
the backs obviously because i didn't know about this risograph printing um the backs are obviously done in that kind of style right so on to the cards i mean look at that look what you see when you first take the cellophane off the deck this amazingly bright colorful in your face full um which gives a nod to like 60s 70s um with a dress um and one thing i will say because i've looked through the cards twice not no symbolism has been missed out in the cards at all so if you're used to the standard rider white smith deck you'll see all the standard symbolism in here and more so the magician um the are oh, the colors they just pop um and this is, I think, this is what they mean by the risograph. You know, you've kind of got that, like, kind of, like, faded blockiness, um, which I love. Um, and there's the symbols on the bottom of the magician's table as well. Um, so, yeah, as I said, um, it's very Rider Waite Smith based. So it's just basically, like, another rendition of the Rider Waite Smith, but modern, queer related, and it's very, very readable. So you've got that person there sitting between the two pillows with the pomegranates on the veil behind her and the book in her hands, the crescent moon and so forth at the bottom. Right, okay. The Empress there. And obviously, as Ash and Chess said in the guidebook, just because it says the Empress and we used to a standard female, on the card you can read these how the hell you like. Um, You know, if you can see yourself as that person you read that card for you um so i'll look at look at that that is just like the best ever emperor i have ever seen um the ramzeds the checked trousers the tattoos that oh it's just fab it's wonderful the high event um it's just ah oh. the lovers Do you know what this is going to be calm one of my most loved and used decks i can see it now um it's just incredible really it is and when you kind of get a deck like this in your hands and see the strength card and kind of like put the lgbtq spin on it it has actually got a completely different meaning um, to what it would have um, if read from a heterosexual point of view. So this is what it means so much um, to me um, because I can actually see and feel my own experiences now in a deck like this because obviously um, it has a lot more integrity done by... Um, you know lgbtq plus people um and it's just phenomenal it really you've got all the symbols around there you've also got the symbols in there and on the four corners as well and justice um i'm just gonna like you know flick through i'm not gonna speak through every card because it'll take me ages and ages and ages that death card is just gorgeous The devil. Oh, look. And see the rainbow um, has been changed as well to obviously incl be inclusive of other people under the LGBTQ plus umbrella. And I love it. Um, you know, I'm... Not one for babies, you know that on the sun card, but this one is forgivable um, because it's a cute child and on a unicorn as well and with a rainbow sash there. So that is totally forgivable um, for once because you all know what I'm like with the babies on the sun card. Judgment, um, even that has got a completely different spin on it now for me and the world and it is fully illustrated minus by the way and so as you shall see it's incredible
that is just just wow everything has got the wow factor for me and you know you've been watching my videos um for a while now um and i'm probably i'll just check my phone 15 minutes in and i haven't said anything negative um that's good for me i mean you've got to give me credit where credit's due i've normally like either said something's crap or you know that doesn't sit well with me by now but no this is just the best honestly i even love the font as well that kind of like vintage vibe font at the bottom of the cards um so yeah it's just adorable It's a very me kind of deck um, because it's bright and it's colourful and it's bold um, and this is what I love. Even though I love, you know, I love my many traditional kind of decks but to see a deck like this where something comes out that's completely different, it kind of blows you away a little bit. That is so adorable. I mean, you really can't be off the vibrancy of these cards. I don't know what happened there. The video stopped and started again. Um, so, yeah. Take three. I've no idea what happened. Um, my phone kept stopping there. So, where were we? Um, so, we're on to the Ten of Cups now. I mean, look at that person in that funky outfit. Uh, it's absolutely cool. And that knight on that horse. Um, oh, look. Now, all we need from these guys is an Oracle deck, um, you know, so no pressure if you watch, uh, it's just fab. And then we're on to the swords as well. I love this kind of effect that, that um, I forgot what it's called, the kind of artwork, um, silly me. That kind of like faded out, like vintage effect um, that it gives on the cards. Um, you can't really see it under the light, but yeah, it's just... Gives that kind of vintage vibe as well. And they've still got the scene on there as it as on the standard uh, Rider White Smith and all the um, astrological symbols on the quilt as well. So as I said, there's nothing um, missed out of this deck. Love that Knight of Swords. The planets on the, uh, the dress there and also the flag there as well. I want to see more decks with this kind of like this style of artwork and printing. Um, it's really, really good. Pink triangle there and there as well. Even this card doesn't look as grim and gloomy as the um, standard RWS one. Um, I think it's because of the colouring in it. I can't wait to um, have a read of the guidebook properly tonight and uh, see what hidden gems and nuggets I can find. Got quiet then I. I'm losing myself in the artwork. So we're back to the beginning. So. You know, this absolutely does tick all the tarot boxes for me. Um, the deck is pretty thick as well, by the way, because it's on like, that lovely cardstock. This ticks all the boxes for me, and it's been a long, long time before a deck has, you know, done that. Um, you know, I don't want to be... I don't want you to think I'm always over-critical in reviews. I'm not. You know, I'll just give a fair... An honest review as much as I can, but
for this one, obviously. So then, guys, we're back to the beginning. Um, thank you so much for watching my review. Um, and this is just probably, as I said, um, one of the best mass market decks that I've seen for a very, very long time. So it's the Queer Tarot, and it's by Ash and Chess. It's available now. Um, Ash and Chess are on Instagram. Um, uh, you know, so you can find them on there. And yeah, um, thank you. And I will see you guys tomorrow where I'm going to be reviewing a, a new Oracle deck um, that I had. And I hope to, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a lovely day. I'll have a lovely evening wherever you are in the world. Lots of love from me always. And thank you for your support. Bye, guys.